I can tell when you're lying, Bob. Whenever you lie, your eyes get crossed a little. The doctor said the last thing. Look, they're you're crossing. Like... I'll just shut him. Ready? Okay. So I've got my YouTube hat on and I've got my YouTube fleece on, so I must be making a YouTube video. I had a subscriber ask me how I'd rig an eye blink and procreate dreams. So I came up with a method of doing that by separating the eyes out from the body and then adding a clipping mask for the eyelid and then cutting that up in such a way that it would be easy to replicate throughout an animation. So I used Bob's burger for that because Bob's eyes are round and very cartoony and kind of lend itself to easily doing this kind of blink. If I was doing a more complicated animation or you know, characters with more realistic eyes, I probably wouldn't use this method. But for a cartoony-like look, I think this works pretty well. So if you found this video helpful, if so, please like and subscribe, and let's get started. Here I'm in Procreate Dreams, and I've got this scene that I've set up based on Bob's Burgers. So right now, if I zoom in, you can see that I have the background on one layer and Bob on another layer. So that means his eyes are part of that layer as well. For this eye blink to work, I need those eyes separated out into different layers. So to do that, I'm gonna click on this frame and I'm gonna click and choose filter and opacity. And again, if you're new to the channel, I say click all the time. And what I mean is, you know, touch, tap, hold. So if I say click, just realize that's what I mean. I, uh, I use a mouse all day in my regular job, so it's hard for me to break away from that. So I'm gonna bring this opacity down and then I'm going to go to this plus sign and add track. I'm gonna zoom in here. And for this, I really don't need to go to flipbook mode. So I'm gonna turn on draw and paint mode. I'm gonna see if I got inking, technical pen. I'm gonna change this to black. I'm gonna go to the layers. I can't go to the layers because I haven't drawn anything yet. So let me draw this outline first. I think that's good enough. And for this, I want to keep both eyes on the same frame. But if you were going to rig like the pupils or something, you may want to separate those. So in the intro that I created, you can see the Bob's eyes were crossed. And to do that, instead of separating his pupils out onto different uh, tracks and rigging those, I just created a new drawing and drew those closer together. So sometimes you got to think if drawing isn't simpler than rigging, uh, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. I think doing this eye blink that it's worth rigging. But for the pupil move, it was just easier to draw those. So something to keep in mind, sometimes setting up a rigging system may not be worth the time involved. Okay, there's the outline. So I'm going to go to the layers and I'm going to hit plus twice. Now that layer with the eye outline is at the bottom. So I'm going to hold that and bring it up. Now for the bottom one, I'm going to draw in the whites of the eyes. Make sure I'm on that layer. Actually, before I do that, if I draw in the whites, I'm not going to be able to see the pupils. So let me go to the next layer up, turn on black and draw in the pupils. Okay, now I'm going to go to the bottom layer and draw in the white. Okay, so now that we've got those, I may go and take the eyes off of that one. So I'm gonna click here to unselect those. And I'm gonna turn his opacity back up by clicking on that keyframe. Now I'm gonna click and hold on that keyframe and delete it. So I'm gonna go to these layers and you can see I've got the eyes. So if I uncheck that, that's just the whites. That's not the uh, outline or the pupils. So the pupils are on this layer. I'm gonna Take my eraser and erase those. Let me erase the outline. Okay, now I'm gonna select black and draw that outline back in. And again, I'm this is more of a demonstration, so I don't need this to be perfect. I mean, I'd, I'd like for it to be, but, you know, we have our limitations. Okay, another quick thing I wanna do, I'm gonna turn these eyes back on. You can see how that looks. I'm going to add another track. And I'm gonna draw in this nose. Let me go back. I should have left it this way and turn on opacity, shrink that down. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this new track. 
and draw the nose in. That's because the nose is going to overlap one of the eyes. So I want it on top of that eye. So I'm going to draw that in. Then I'm going to add another layer, click on this, bring it up. And on the other layer, I'm going to color the skin in. So I'm going to click and hold on this, and I bet it will give me the wrong skin color. So let me go to Filter, Opacity, bring that back up. Hold to get that color. Now we'll turn this off, click on that layer. Now let me go back to this track. Go to the outline, yeah. So now I've got another one for the mustache. I'm gonna go ahead and finish filling that in because the nose will overlap that too. I'm gonna turn back on the nose, you see how that looks. Now if I click on the nose, I can move that over and it would overlap that eyeball. Okay, now to do the eye blink, let me um, hold on each one of these and select Fill Duration. So you can see it's filled up our timeline with that drawing. Okay, so now all of our drawings are filling up the timeline. So to create this blink, I'm going to do something pretty simple. I'm going to add a new track. Then when I scroll in, click on Draw and Paint, and I'm going to draw a black line across here, same thing here. I want to make sure that overlaps. So if I turn off the nose, you see it overlaps. So then I'm going to click on layers, add another layer. So I'm going to hold on this one and bring it up. And then beneath that, I'm going to touch and hold, and I've got that skin color. Now I'm color in a block of skin well above this eye. So you can't see it right now, but I can turn him off. You can see what that looks like. So I want to make sure it's well above the eye and comes out past the eye. Okay, so I'm going to click and hold on that one and say fill duration. Now if I, I come out of drawing paint mode by clicking that, if I touch this, see I got my bounding box. And I must have another stroke here somewhere. We can see how far that comes out, but that won't affect this. So if I grab it and pull down, you can see now I'm completely covering the eyes. And that's what I want. So now I'm going to turn him back on. And you can see that it's overlapping his face. So to fix that, I'll turn the nose back on too. To fix that, I want to click and hold on this. And I'll click on mask. And I want to check clipping mask. Now you can see that it cuts around that eye. So if I touch on it and drag it up, you can see I'm getting that blink. But it looks weird because we don't have an outline. So to fix that, I want to click and hold on the eyes, and I'll click Copy. And then up here, I want to click a new track. And I'll drag this track up, hold, and put Paste. So now you see we have the eyes again. That's a little off. Let me bring that down. So I'm going to click on the layers for that, and I'm going to turn off the bottom two layers. So now we just have the outline. Now if I touch this and drag it up, you see now we have our blink. Now to animate this, I'm going to come down to about right here, and we'll click on the playhead, choose Move, Move and Scale. Now I've set a keyframe. You can see that here. I've got one down here for some reason. I want to delete that. Now I've got a keyframe here. I'm going to go to here, click that again, so you can see it goes from red to white. And I'll bring that all the way down. And now if I go down here and you see it's red, if I click it, it's white. That means I set another keyframe and bring this back up. If I scroll through here, you can see I've got a blink. So that's how that works. And say I wanted to repeat this blink several times. All I have to do is I can go to here, bring this playhead up so it looks like a clapboard, tap it, hit edit, hit split. Now I can hold on this and delete the content. And go down to the next one, bring that up, tap it, edit, split. Now I can delete this one. Now you can see I have my blink just on one layer. So now if I want to do another blink later on, I can tap and hold on this, select copy. Select my playhead where I want, hold, hit paste. You can see I've got that blink here. So now if I play through here, he'll blink twice. 
And that's how you can create a simple I blink and procreate dreams just by adding another track, masking it, and using some skin color in a horizontal line. This idea came from a subscriber asking me how I would go about doing this. So if you've got ideas for tutorials, leave them in the comments below. And if I know how to do it, I'll try to make a tutorial on it or I can figure out how to do it. I like learning new things and sharing that. So it's helpful to hear other people's ideas. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.